we're going to have a look now at a way of speeding up the binomial expansion in order just to make it a bit clearer and a bit quicker. So straight into the question there, we've got 2 plus 3x to the power of 4, and it's asking us to expand that in ascending powers of x. That's starting with the smallest power of x and working up to the highest power of x. Now I find it helps to lay this out in columns. So there's four brackets that's going to leave five terms in the end one two three four five columns i'm going to do now the lowest power of x obviously is 3x to the power of zero and it's important you put brackets around this 3x term because it's all of that 3x that's raised to the power of zero the next highest power of x would be 3x to the one then 3x all squared 3x all cubed and 3x all to the power of 4. Right, so we've done the powers of x, let's do the powers of 2. So the lowest power of x leads to the highest power of 2. 2 cubed, 2 squared, 2 to the 1, and 2 to the power of 0. Now the next row is for the combinations operator. There's loads of different ways that we can obtain all of these terms by multiplying out the brackets. This first one I always put the power of the bracket first, 4, choose, then the number here is the power of x, 4 choose 0. So this is the number of different ways this can happen. So power of the bracket, choose power of x, power of the bracket, choose power of x, power of the bracket, choose power of x, power of the bracket, choose power of x. Okay. So that's the first phase of this done. We're now going to simplify each term. So 3x all to the power of 0, and this is why the brackets are important. All of that to the power of 0 is 1. 3x to the power of 1 is 3x. Again, this example illustrates why the brackets are important, because 3x all squared means 3x times 3x, which is 9x squared, 27x cubed, and 81 x to the 4. 2 to the 4 is 16. 2 cubed is 8. 2 squared is 4. 2 to the 1 is 2. And 2 to the 0 is 1. And now, let's have a look at how to use this combinations operator on the calculator. So we want 4 choose 0. Well, 4 is there. Then to get the choose button, the combinations operator, it's shift then the divide button. Above the divide button is the C. 4C0 is 1. Then 4C1 is 4. 4C2 is 6. 4C3 is 4. And 4C4 is 1. And notice the symmetry of this, 1, 4, 6, 4, 1. It's always symmetrical down the middle, so you know you've probably got it right if you've got a symmetrical set of terms here. Finally, all that's left to do is to multiply the columns together. 1 times 16 times 1 is 16. And make sure we add the, ter add the terms in the columns to each other. 3 times 8 times 4 is 96, and that's the x term. Add 9 times 4 times 6 is 216, and that's the x squared term. 27 times 2 times 4 is 216 again, and that's the x cubed term. And 81 times 1 times 1 is 81, and that's the x to the 4 term. So we've done it. We've expanded those brackets in ascending powers of x. And we've done it a lot more quickly by laying it out in columns.